109,734 people are at Michigan Stadium watching the Wolverines battle the Utah Utes. I am one of those people with a federal appellate court judge, his son, another an attorney, and his grandson. It was an annual tradition. Every year, we would go to Michigan, where the judge was an alumni, watch a football game, talk about life, talk about business, talk about the future. September 21st, 2002, everything would change. It was the day that, that I would lie to the judge. We'd had a, a normal trip up. Everything was going well. Stadium was packed. Football game was certainly entertaining. But the, we, we never went to the games because we cared. We went to socialize and to, to form relationships and bonds. And Judge, uh, Judge Ford turned to me at one point in the game and said, so Rob, how's business? And he was such a great mentor. I had so much respect for him. I was afraid that admitting that there were challenges in my company, that I was having a really difficult time paying my taxes, managing my employees, uh, I, I was 22 years old. I had a, a company that was doing a million dollars a year in, in health care, and, and I, was, I was screwing up. My biggest issue was my taxes. And, you know, I, I, I told the judge that every, everything was great, man. Everything was fine. You know, we've got recurring revenue, growth and revenue. Our, our client base is expanding. We're getting uh, contacted from other communities who are interested in, in the company expanding there. You know, everything is great. We, we did an employee of the month. You know, everybody, everybody's happy. Things are great. But it, it just wasn't the whole story. And so Judge Ford turned to me and he said, so how are things really doing? <laughs> And you know when you know that somebody uh, realizes that you're lying to them, but you don't want to accept that you've been caught in a lie. And uh, I was like, oh, judge, things are great, man. I'm really looking forward <laughs> to, to what's next. You know, I just I feel like my company is, is really going places, man. You can, you can believe in me. I owed, I owed the IRS $46,000 in taxes that I hadn't paid in a long time. Now, I justified it in my head because uh, CMS, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services, owed me sixty-five dollars to $74,000 in aging receivables. So if I was able to get paid for those aging receivables, I very easily could have cut a check to the IRS and, and boom, you know, all my problems are going away. Unfortunately, CMS doesn't pay as well as the IRS collects. So I was stuck in the middle of trying to get paid for these services, you know, while at the same time the IRS was chasing me for, for that tax bill. And unfortunately what died that day was, was my relationship with Judge Ford because he knew. It's actually not that difficult to find out if someone hasn't paid their taxes, it turns out. And, and you know, one of my other, uh, other mentors um, had talked to him about it and... I lost the relationship. Every year was an annual tradition. We would go up there. I lost his respect. And Judge Ford, you don't become a federal appellate judge without having a lot of friends in the community. If Judge Ford said that you were a good business person or that you were a good guy to talk to, then I could get a meeting with anybody probably in the entire state of Ohio. And it, it all went away over a lie because I was so afraid that I was going to look weak you know, my brand was that I was a successful entrepreneur. And I was so confident in that branding. And, in, and I knew that, you know, CMS would pay me, I'd get paid for this, and I could cut the IRS a check. And, and all the things I was saying were true. But they really, they weren't true at the time. And I lost this opportunity. So the judge was a, he cared about me. We were friends. You don't go to a football game with a guy and his son and his grandson and, and he not care about you. And so all of the trust that I had built up over years 
I burned it up in a, in, a, in a single lie that I doubled down on, thinking I would get out of it. What I really want other people to take from my colossal error is that if you've got a mentor, if you've got a friend, if you've got someone who's helping you in whatever area it is in your life, whether, whether it's success, whether it's relationships, whether it's your career, your health, whatever it is, be honest. Being vulnerable, sharing that you've got challenges. If I had said to the judge, hey, you know, the IRS is aggressively pursuing me for 46000 but I've got sixty coming from CMS, he would have been like, I'll make a call to CMS, you know. <laughs> we'll get these guys to pay you. But I didn't. My name's Rob Nicholson. It's an honor to, to share my story with you guys. And uh, I hope that, that you're more honest with the people who care about you uh, and Carpe diem. Seize the day, guys. Thank you.